Hi, I'm Lynn Nesbitt, one of the pastors at First United Methodist Church, and I'm here today for a good word about a life guided by the Word of God. I love the beach. I went to the beach when I was a little girl with my family. I took my growing family to the beach. I'm planning a trip to the beach this summer with my grandchildren, and I just love it. But how sad would it be if you thought you took a trip to the beach when you really didn't? I had a friend in seminary. She was from Minnesota. She had never been to our gorgeous beaches, and I invited her to come down one time and and to go to the beach with me. It's been almost 40 years now, but I loved introducing her to that sugar sand, those beautiful waves of the Gulf of Mexico. What if somebody thought they were going to the beach, drove to Panama City, and in downtown Panama City, checked into a hotel, never saw the sand, never put their feet in the water, never ate the wonderful seafood, what if they then went home and thought they had been to the beach? That, that would be sad. You know what? That's what a lot of us do when it comes to Scripture. We say we love the Bible and we mean it. And we say we want to abide by God's Word and we mean it. But we have no idea what's in the book. We've never really studied God's Word. We've just listened to other people tell us about God's Word. Now, that's not a bad thing to do. I want to listen to people who've studied the Word, who have ideas about how to understand the Word. I want them to help me apply it to my life, but I need to be doing that myself by the time I can begin to read. I need to be reading God's Word for myself and asking myself and asking God how I should live my life to follow Jesus, to be more and more like Jesus until I can love like Jesus loves, until I can heal like Jesus heals, until I can welcome people to God like Jesus does. I have got to do that on my own, maybe with some help, but, but digging into the word myself, not taking someone else's word for it. I have two pictures that help me understand what it's like to really get into scripture. One is shoes. I like to walk, but I have a hard time finding shoes that really fit me. Here's what I know. If I'm wearing shoes that don't really fit, it doesn't take long for my feet to hurt and for me to be sorry I'm walking. If I'm wearing shoes that fit me perfectly, I can walk and walk and walk. And instead of thinking about my feet, I can think about what I'm saying. That's what God's Word is like. Do you know that when Jesus said, Take my yoke upon you and learn of me. He was a carpenter. He was used to making custom fit yokes for oxen that fit their necks perfectly, that didn't rub any blisters so they could pull and pull in their great strength and never feel the yoke. God's word is meant to fit us, for us to find our place in God's word so that we can then follow Jesus and keep our eyes on Jesus and not on the mechanics of it anymore. Here's the other picture I like to use, and that's that of um, a railroad. Some of you know that I lived in England for two years, and I loved to ride the train. There was a train uh, between the airport nearest my house, Manchester, and Lancaster, where I lived, and, and the, there was a railway station right in the airport, so you could just get on straight home. And I loved to travel to London. It was 250 miles to London, but I could get there in two hours on that train. And I could get there on that train because it had a tremendous source of power and because it had tracks that exactly fit it. If you think of our lives as, as a rail cars and an engine, and if we're just put out in a field and insist on going our own way, all we're gonna do is sling mud around when it's wet and sling dust around when it's dusty. But, but if we're on those tracks that are made just for us, we can travel far and we can travel easily. That's what God's Word does for us. God's Word shows us where we fit into the life of God so that fitting perfectly 
we may travel joyously through life following Jesus. I invite you to look at the scripture for yourself, to read it for yourself, to ask the ever willing Holy Spirit to show you how God would apply that scripture to your life so that you may become more and more like Jesus.